Yo, what's going on everybody? Chokagami here and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out open beta version 1.46 for American Truck Simulator. This will not be a full in-depth review of every single thing, however we will be driving around and just checking out, observing some new things everywhere. So uh, as far as the change log goes, we have US 20 be road between Idaho and Montana, Idaho viewpoint redesign, portable cisterns, Cascadia and Western Star 57X got comp Custom infotainment implementation, infotainment slash GPS screens on all trucks have switched off state, separated from map zoom, cell phones and nav navigational devices got a custom Im implementation, Com company browser, custom city intros, and drive shaft short. Now, you do have to keep in mind, at the time of recording, which is October 27th, this is not a full version. This is just an open beta. SES just wants to see what's good about it, what's bad about it, what they need to fix. So just keep in mind, this is not a stable version. If you want to get it, um, if you have the game through Steam like I do, you just uh, right-click on the game on the list and go to, I think it's Options, Beta, and then uh, drop down 1.46. I could be wrong on that completely, but... Um, anyways, let's check out version 1.46. Alright, so at first glance on the outside, 1.46 does not look much different from 1.45. However, if you go into the menu, see, this used to say vehicle browser, I do believe. Now it says content browsers because there's a company browser now. I have no idea how to use it. Let's uh, press some buttons. Yeah, I have no idea how to use this, but I will figure it out, and if you have American Truck Simulator, I'm sure you will as well. Um, other than that, um, if we look at the map, yeah, I do have a job that will take us through this new US-20. Uh, what else is new? Custom city intros, um, so... Once you start a new profile and you get a city intro of your first new city, I do believe that will give you a new intro to that city. So, uh, Honorable Cisterns. Um, so yeah, Honorable Cisterns, Idaho Viewpoint Redesign, and, uh, some other stuff. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to, uh, go get us a job so we can check out this new 1.46 US-20. Idaho and Montana. Alright, so we are taking this job here. It is empty pallets, 28,998 pounds. Going to Billings, Montana. We are, will be going up the US, new US-20 route. So, uh, let's just go forward real quick. Just, uh, have a regular hookup to the trailer. Just back here. But uh, there's nothing really much I've noticed inside the cab from 1.45 to 1.46. All right. So, if we look at the map here, we are going out of Idaho Falls, going on to US-20, into Montana, going through Bozeman on I-90, all the way over to Billings, Montana, which I have not discovered yet, so, uh, we'll be discovering a new city, and I want to put, eh, no, not that, I want to just that, there we go, so, uh, let's roll on out of here. So I'll wait for this gate to open. But uh, like I said, this is not going to be a uh, full depth, full in-depth review video of every single thing. This is just going to be, you know, a first look video. Because uh, this is my first time checking out 1.46. I'm checking it out as you guys are seeing it in this video, so... There 
we go, fourth gear. Right, got a red light. Here, speed limit 35. Now it looks like we need to get in the left lane. Slow down. This car right here. Nice truck here. The, I, I will, I'll read, uh, see if I can read off SES Software's blog post about the 1.46 open beta as I'm driving along here. SCS says, Today we are happy to share with you that the 1.46 open beta launch branch for American Truck Simulator is now available to try and test out. If you plan on participating in this open beta, which we are, we ask that you please help us reporting any bugs you may encounter at the appropriate sections of our official form. Not seeing any bugs so far, and we have to get in the right lane. Uh, there's a paragraph, I'm going to skip that, uh, about the company browser. And a new exciting feature coming to both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 the one point, in the 1.46 update is the new company browser. This, this new in-green browser allows for players to search for specific types of companies, cargos, and or other trailer types. This means that you are awaiting... Uh, I'm screwing. Reading and driving is the hardest thing ever. If you are waiting for any of the examples mentioned in the previous sentence, you can easily check if such, su if such a thing even exists within the game. So, basically says, so if you are curious about which cargo you can theoretically haul, for example, between Bellingham and the Gals, or even Eureka to Burning Burlington, the company browser will achieve just that. So uh, that's the company browser. I'm not going to read all of it. And then uh, Ownable Cisterns, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you get Ownable Cistern trailers, which haul corrosive liquid products. We're getting on the US-20 here. So, um, oh, speaking in this next section of the blog post is US-20 as we're getting on US-20. I think it's US-20. Yeah, it is. Hopefully we don't have to stop this way station. We are happy to share with you that the US-20 located between Idaho and Montana will be arriving as a free update to the owners of the DLCs. The highway has been highly rec requested by you for hashtag best community ever since Montana's release. And uh, it does look like a nice addition of highway. It allows drivers to drive between Idaho, Idaho Falls, Idaho, and the settlement of West Yellowstone in Montana. 
that and custom city intros uh, just like I said earlier it is a uh, once you create a new profile and uh, get a city intro and, uh, there's new city intros so uh, that's fun the Idaho viewpoints redesign and updated the viewpoints of Idaho DLC to better reflect our current standard of their length, pace, and camera movement. Oh, drive shaft torque. This is an interesting one. Just like uh, the fact that I interestingly need to downshift. Truck's underpowered. But anyways, drive shaft torque. Uh, we were always doing our best to make the trucking experience within our games as realistic as possible. And that is exactly the reason why this new edition, which can be turned on in the settings, is arriving in the, in the world of ATS. This feature simulates the spinning of the chassis during acceleration, which, which results in a slight lift over the front left wheel. This effect is more visible on American trucks due to them being longer. So uh, I don't have that enabled right now. However, I can enable it really quick. Um, like it is in gameplay. Let's see. Roll it down. I don't even know. Is it? In Have a look at this screen. Uh, yeah, it is in gameplay. Just cannot find it. All right, let me find this real quick. I'll see you in a second. All right, I have found the option. I've scrolled back past it quite a bit. But, uh, here, drive shaft torque. I'm going to turn it. About halfway up, so uh, let's go with that. Let's see, let's look on the outside. I don't really see too much of a difference. Let's see, I'm going to uh, turn it all the way up now. Alright, so I've just turned the drive shaft torque all the way up. Uh, I see it a little bit. It might be just a thing from a uh, takeoff. And I did get my uh, screenshot slash thumbnail out of the way, so we don't have to worry about that. We will stop at this gas station here. Down so that... Kind of a speedy turn in. Now we'll see this drive shaft torque, how powerful it is. So, first gear, 1L. I did not see a difference. Not see through the mirror. I can see what is in the mirror, but I can't see behind the mirror. So uh, yeah, I don't think that drive shaft work did anything. Maybe there's a uh, enable slash disable uh, option that I'm missing somewhere. Maybe it doesn't even work. I don't know. Like I said earlier, it's a uh, not stable version, so uh, I would guess that it works, but uh, I'm probably missing something. But I have no idea. Well, we've got 300 miles left to go. Could be entering near Montana now. Let's go seven high. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That car was kind of impolite. up a uh, slight hill here we are we are in Montana it looks like there's what is that camera what is that uh photo site not captured must be uh I, I gotta scroll down on this see if there's a uh something about the that camera icon that Thing that I missed. Nope, there's nothing. That's the end of the blog post. Maybe it's something I didn't pay attention to. Regardless, I'm not going to go back and read that whole blog post over again while I'm driving. I don't think we've gotten any fines yet, and I hope we don't get them in this video. But you know me. If you don't know me, it's okay. So you know, I am very likely to get a fine, probably a red light fine, on this trip. Gotta turn up here. See, that was almost one right there. Red light up here. We've got a uh, full tank of fuel. Almost full tank, so that's good. I haven't mentioned yet, but if, uh, if you haven't been paying attention, we have a uh, 18 speed in this truck. I think it's a 505 horsepower engine. Not quite sure. Got, gotta love the mountains over there and the trees and the plains and the logs on the ground. 65. We better slow down around this Corner. Kind of, I think it kind of looks like that car has its reverse lights on. It just it, those lights, they look like they're about, they're flashing, and they're on. Come on, the speed limit's 60 around here. We got to get going somewhere. Now the road to Kirby, but that's no excuse for going under the speed limit. Looks like a uh, camp of some sort.
keep this engine at full throttle here. It's going sick. Other than the new update, there's nothing really to talk about. Got the uh, whole mountains. The car that keeps slowing down in front of me. Let's see how much of this? Okay, we don't we don't have any curvy roads anymore. So getting on I-90, and we'll uh, won't be long at all from there. We've got a uh, field of, like, what is it, grass? I don't know, something growing there. Oh! You know, since I want it to be a video without fines, I'll stop. I'm not going to be turning very slowly. See if we can do this on the go without stopping at all. There we go. Not stopping at this stop sign. Pull right out onto the road. Oops. Turn right. for this light to turn green. Alright, light is green, here we go. Oh! Oh. Cars need to stop. Stopping in front of me. Oh, we're gonna get fined for this. Oh, we didn't. Normally you get fined for doing something like that. Or penalized. Isn't fair at all. But you know, not all things are fair. Don't hit me, thank you. We're getting on I-90 here soon, and then we'll go right over to, I think, Billings. There's a uh, school bus over there. There's an actual school bus over there. Or a game school bus, rather. There's a uh, school over there. Who buses? Look like a uh, rip-off bluebirds, maybe? Ow. We're just not even going to question what happened there. So well, let's continue. Red light here.
We're going two over the speed limit. One now. Now we're going exactly the speed limit. Right, turn green, turn green, turn green, turn green. Ah, dang it. There we go. I'm gonna turn green right as soon as I stop. Another red light. Just gonna go around this. I'm gonna take the easy way. There we go. Our uh, accidents way back there, and whatever was going on back there. We just uh, drove around it. Took a little bit of a detour. Not a long one. Not a long detour at all. It was a detour. Speed limit 70, we're gonna get there in no time. Let's see, we'll go 75 on here. Uh, just beautiful, all the mountains and whatnot. Oh, we're doing, doing about 80 now. Fine. Make sure there are uh, no police cars around or anything like that. Go around this truck right here. Well, uh, that is about it for the uh, 1.46 open beta. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I'll have a link to the channel Discord server in the description below. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.